heading over to the airport because I gotta pick up my boy. He's flying in today. At the next light, turn left. Hey Siri, I don't like getting told what to do all the time. Why'd my boy fly into FedEx? Well, that's because my boy's a noodle. And this is Snakes on a Plane Part 2. The planet's not ready today. I picked the perfect day to get him mailed. I've been holding off for three weeks because... Been too hot. Is it a heavyweight package? It's an animal. It's a live animal. I think it's going to be at the USCA station, but I'll... we don't hold small packages. We uh, hold heavyweights, anything over 150 pounds. So we send it to the smaller location. The whole objective of getting a snake ship and picking it up at the main hub and so it doesn't get on a hot vehicle. That's the main objective of, of having the animal stay at the facility. Well, we're at the wrong facility, so it's time to go to the right one now. <laughs> Yeah, so that's pretty annoying. Normally, I have snakes just shipped directly to my house. The only reason I didn't this time was it's been over 100 degrees for the last few weeks. So I really didn't want the snake bouncing around on a hot truck for however long it took to get to my house. And it turns out, they still put him on a truck to take him to the next facility. But at least it was early in the morning when it wasn't too hot, and it was only six miles away. And what we have right here is a relic of the past. Did you pick it up? Yes. What you picking up? Uh, it's a uh, animal. I've been holding off shipping them for two weeks and it's too hot. So are you breeding? Yes. Sure. Yes. How long have you been doing it? Um, I've been <laughs> in the hobby. I made decor for animals for like vegetables. Reptile like enclosures. Yeah. So I've been in the hobby for three years, but it takes three years to get the females to size to breed, so this will be my first year of breeding in January. Okay. What are you breeding? Uh, Western hognose. Western hognose? Yeah. Snakes. Snakes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, are, are you, uh, I can give you a livestock story. Gotta make you laugh. All right. All right. Okay. I went uh, to a claims race in New Jersey. Okay, so this story is pretty hilarious. Stick around to the end of the video if you want to hear it. And if she used a camera angle, somebody may or may not have recorded without permission. So now, are these just the eggs? Or no, this is a snake. This is a snake. Oh, this is snake. Yeah. 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 Really? Yeah. Wow. You want to see him? No, no, that's okay. Mm -hmm. no, well, <laughs> it, it's got to be small because it's kind of light. Yeah. Easy, baby. I'll show you a picture of him on my phone. Okay. Like, so you have deer as well? Okay. Yeah, a lot of, I got a lot of animals. Like 15 to 16 babies. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's out of ton of them. Mm -hmm. um, you might have one have a talk with her. <laughs> I, I tried to. <laughs> All right, we got my boy in a box. Time to head home and unbox him. <laughs> All right, we made it back home and it's time to open this boy up. And this is my cousin, John. He's here today. He rode with me to the airport to pick him up. And y'all got to deal with the air conditioning noise because it's too hot to turn it off. This box is wet on the bottom, so hope everything's okay inside. I was about to say, somebody needs some natural. <laughs> yeah, I actually got one right over there. I just bought it. Too. Guess I can use it on that one. This is a Raider, man. Okay, so this boy, just like my buddy Nestle, this came from my buddy Stephen Cowles in Indiana with dead stick hog nose. So that is what the wetness is. That's no problem. All right, here he is, a beautiful exantic, also hatched snow. This out the way. As you can see, he's alive, but he made it. He's a chunky looking dude, too. All right. <coughs> Ready? Mama. I'm a 
be your new daddy. Dada. What do you want your name to be, Mr. Hissy Boy? He's a good looking doodle. <coughs> <coughs> What's your name gonna be, buddy? I'm gonna have to ask my buddy Steven when the last time he ate. Today's feeding day. I might just let him eat today. I think he likes my wart. He's a little bit chilly. But it's a lot better than overheating. So it's a perfect day to ship him. Where you going, buddy? <laughs> Where you going? You're not a boreal. You're not supposed to like the cloud. That's one of those rumors. They might be terrestrial animals, but they really do act the boreal. Because if you give them the opportunity, yeah. they're going to climb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you doing, dude? I'm going to take him back there and get him set up in the bin. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Just a quick unboxing video today. Show off my new bunny. My new breeding project. Set up in this den. I gave him one of my half hives that I make. These are good for snakes that like to burrow under the substrate. So you can go in and it can still get under. So now we still got a price tag in it. Alright, good boy. I know you want to, I know you want to hold me, but I'm gonna put you in your bin for a while. Yeah, and then mm -hmm. I'll come back and try to feed you. What are you doing in your house? Yeah. <laughs> Where you going, little guy? Yeah, where you going, little fella? Check out your hide. I'll bring you some a water bowl in just a few minutes. Okay, buddy? I want to thank Steven once again for hooking me up with a beautiful animal. And I'll be sure to send you a picture as he's growing up. But that's it. I'll be getting to feeding the rest of these babies. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Y'all have a good one. I went uh, to a claims race in New Jersey yeah. and bought a horse. Yeah. Uh, me and my friend, my friend talked me into buying a horse because he had watched the Kentucky Derby. Yeah. Saw these people, they spent 10 grand, they bought a horse, it won the Triple Crown. So he's like, man, that's what we ought to do. So I was like, you know what, that's cool. You know, let's go buy us a horse. So we went to New Jersey, bought us a horse and watched the race, the claims race, and um, bought the horse. The guy, when he sold it to us, he says, you know it's a gelding, right? I said, yeah, I know it's a gelding. He says, okay. So he says, um, what are you going to do with it? I said, you know, we're going to take it, we're going to race it, we're going to do some other stuff. But he said, okay. It's a gelding, though. I said, okay, yes, sir. He says, you know what? I'm even going to throw in a trailer. So he even threw in a horse trailer for me to bring the horse back. I was living in Atlanta at the time. Right. Brought the horse back, got down to the equestrian where I was keeping the horse. And the uh, guy says, man, this is a beautiful horse, 15 hands high, nice horse. He says, what are you going to do with it? He says, you know, it's a gelding, right? I said, yeah, I know it's a gelding. Why do people keep saying this? <laughs> And he looked at me and said, son, you don't know what a gelding is, do you? I said, yes, I do. It's like an Appaloosa. <laughs> and he said, no, sir. <laughs> he says, a gelding is a horse that has no testicles. <laughs> so you cannot breed this horse. The only thing this horse is going to be good for is barrel racing. <laughs> barrel racing and trail riding. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs>